we are Honest Mechanic, and you are watching us live from the extended play sessions at the Fallout Shelter. Thank you. So hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. Seriously, thank you for coming. This is amazing. This place is amazing. This place is amazing. Unreal. Yes. Unreal. friend 
That goes out to anyone who's felt the bullshit opinion of other people trying to tell you who you are. Yeah. That's the, yeah. I should, Susan can say that better, what I just said. <laughs> no, no, I can't. So we are Honest Mechanic with a K, which is the only way to spell that, obviously. And uh, I'm Susan Catanio, and this is Paul Hansen. What's up? And on my left is Marco Jovino. Yes. The most famous drummer in Massachusetts. That's right, definitely. Maybe in New England. Yes, in my house. In your house. <laughs> Maybe we could slowly to love Maybe It's been known to happen Look it up Maybe Love, see how our light It bends I see Yeah. 
so they fall back into love Maybe It's been known to happen, look it up Maybe This bed where we're skin to skin That's where we begin Again, but I'm caught in a free falling spin. Well, my gravity can pull you back in, pull you back in. That's the first song we ever wrote. So you will notice that we have come in comfort tonight because we are wearing the Honest Mechanic outfit, which of course includes pajamas because we are in COVID times and, uh, and we did a, a photo shoot and um, I, I was like, Paul, what are we going to wear? Because we had no idea who we were yet. We didn't know who we were as a band. And Paul was like, I'm going to wear my jammies. <laughs> and I, I thought, OK, let's, let's do that. I'm a 90s kid. I'm like, come, <laughs> as, come as I am, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, so this is now a look. This is, this is like the latest style. It's COVID style for you. Stuck inside this metal box Flying coast to coast non-stop Little drinks on big thoughts I'm not found but I'm not lost Down below the patchwork states Places I've never been Spent so much time on either end The star. Let my heart be here and now running Every single minute All this world is given The good, the bad, and all That's in between A little panic from the past New loves we knew would never last Telling fortunes like they're real Numb the pain, forget to feel Up above these earthly ghosts I think I have control There's so much beauty in letting go
what's in between. So now we're going to do this song. <laughs> I guarantee you no one knows what song is coming uh, next. Okay, we're going to play uh, a cover song. I know it's your song. Okay. I, I, might, I might just screw this. I don't know why. Like, uh, so, yeah, it's we'll a weird song, we'll but it's a great it song. It's a great song. It's an older song, but it holds up. Yes, it does. <laughs> Stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. Right? The song is fucking awesome. And if we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. And afterwards we drop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. Spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. I can feel it in your eyes that you despise the same old lies you heard the night before. Though it's just a line for you, for me it's true, it never seemed so right before. Every day to find some clever lines to say to make the meaning come true. And then I think I'll wait until the evening gets late and I'm alone with you. Time is right, your perfume fills my head, stars get red and all the nights so blue. Spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. The time is right, your perfume fills my head. Stars get red and all the nights so blue. Then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. That was my choice, by the way. I brought up to do that cover. Uh, yes. Frank and Nancy Sinatra, right? Pretty awesome. It's kind of weird that he's singing to his daughter, but... No. It is a little weird, uh, actually, when you think about they that. They sound great. They do sound great together. Um, so uh, this next song, as you know, we're here to celebrate something special. Um, it's my birthday. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, we have a debut album that has come out today. So exciting, so exciting. And, uh, and we recorded uh, most of it during the pandemic. So the cool story about that is that Paul and Marco actually never met each other until very recently because we recorded tracks with Paul at one studio and then sent it to Marco at his studio. So it really is a, a COVID project and we're very excited about it. All the glory, and I can take a taxi home. I hope you trip on the ceiling, dancing with your ego this evening. You say you're misunderstood, way too cool for your own good. You know, we know that you're faking. Nothing left. 
ledges and angles no skip in the light fandango when you're done all your buns just weeds and gravel with heads so rattle when you're done there's nothing share this but for your lack of awareness no you won't ever get this no you won't ever hear this when you're done all your funds just weeds and gravel with heads so That song is about someone that Susan doesn't like, and for a fee, I will tell you who that is. No, no you the will not. The fee has got to be a big fee. But you know, there are people that like they just steal all the oxygen in the room, and there's just nothing left for anyone else. That's what that song is about. Everyone's guessing later. Someone special that I know. That person is here tonight. No, <laughs> no, no, no. So I don't know about you, but I spent a lot of my COVID watching Netflix. Yeah, thank God, what would we do without Netflix? I worked my way through so many series, it, it actually got boring. Um, and so this next song is about all the movies that we watched. I feel like I'm boxing up. These days I'm held up on the couch And you're stuck with reasonable doubt steps back to my place I'm waiting for the movie of you wrestling the bear walk the wire then come to dinner with me down the regal stairs where the fancy people stay I'm dating my TV Judy Garland sings me off to sleep Wake up with a dream of us back in the good days Then turn around and pull the sheets over my face Fate 
to black, it's all just pretend. Susan, I gotta get you to join Shudder with me. What is that? That's like the horror movie oh version. Oh no! We'll get some. We'll get a whole album out of that. Uh, I watch scary movies because I kind of like scary movies, but I watch them with the volume down. So, because the music, the music is why scary movies are so scary. Because they have that, dun, ah, you know, it's like that. So if you watch it without the sound, it's like, oh yeah, he just got stabbed. It's okay. <laughs> What a perfect introduction to this next song. <laughs> I would just like to make note of the fact that Marco Javino is wearing a mechanics outfit tonight. Yes. It's pretty awesome. You're looking good, MG. <laughs> We know where we're going, but we don't know where we've been. And we know what we're knowing, but we can't say what we've seen. And we're not little children, and we know what we want and the future. Sure is certain. Give us time to work it out. We're on a road to nowhere. Come on inside. Taking that ride. We'll take that ride. Feeling okay this morning, and you know we're on a road to paradise. Here we go, here we go. It's all right. 
one more song and then take a quick break and then come back uh, with some some more music for you um, please help yourself to the bar Steve is manning the bar in a beautiful way over there and uh, please also if you if your legs happen to motivate yourself in that direction um, the CD release table is over there as well I can't move like a rolling stone I can't wait for a ghost to show Whoa, whoa. I made love to love and it was fine Never came close to divine Till the Thank you. So before we take a break, I just want to say that Bill Hurley and his team were responsible for making that video possible. It would not have been possible without Bill. So go on YouTube, find that video, like the extended play sessions, like Fallout Shelter. Thank you, Bill. Can I pull my uh, guitar? I don't want to pop the room.
watching the extended play sessions, and we are Honest Mechanic. Before we tantalize you with a few more tunes, um, we would like to uh, just say something special to a few special people who are here. We got a bottle of wine for, for Bill. It said William on it, so we, we, we switched his name. It was really close. 2015 Napa Valley, right? That's not bad. So yeah, we just can't say thanks enough. And to Mary Bath too and everyone here making a video for us making us feel at home. You're making me feel at home. I know a lot of you guys are regulars here, but being from a ragtag indie scene, I'm not used to this kind of love. I'm like, get away. You don't love me, but you do. So Bill, thank you. It was a good vintage. We'll do that later. Never mind. <laughs> so this next song, actually, don't start it yet. We, this next song is, was written by Marco. Marco started this song. Don't let him fool you afterwards. No, I didn't do it. This is Marco's song, and then we added something to it.
Should we tell them who that one's about? Oh, uh, yeah. Should sure. we? Yeah. Why not? No. No? Well, y yeah. Go oh. Ahead. Well, so I, I just, I have uh, two musical heroes who um, have recently kind of musically been silenced. And it makes me very sad to think of Joni Mitchell and to think of Linda Ronstadt and the fact that they're not making music anymore. And uh, so I just, I, I feel like inside they're still making music and they're just physically not able to do it on the outside. And so I met, we were thinking about what that was like. So they're lost in the world. <laughs> and for me, for me, we were kind of thinking about all these people. For me, it was kind of about Jack Kerouac, who started off so inspired and this passionate reader and writer and observer of jazz. And then I don't know if anybody followed his story, but he just turned into this awful, angry drunk. And, and it's, it's sad, because he was such so inspired. Sorry. Yeah. And so the other thing that's really interesting about that song is um, we only had the album. The album was 10 songs. So when we found out that we were doing a two-set uh, performance, we suddenly had to write all these new songs. <laughs> so you're going to be hearing brand new songs that, have, that has never been played out. Uh, you guys are the first ones who are hearing them. Um, there are four that are going to be in this, in this next set, and that was the first one. It's a little unfair when you have Marco Javino sending you drum beats, though, right? for our songs. Ooh, we're so like, good. What are we going to write? Blah. <laughs> I love the rumors If only I could choose them You don't seem to care if they're true Whispered stories Of all my made-up glories You told me that a streetlight was the moon
try to make my move my great escape I push and pull but it won't change my faith we stay the same in this town we stay the same in this town That's our 70s ballad. Don't you want all the strings to come in on the chorus? <laughs> David Soul should be singing it from Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> you don't even know who that is because you weren't born then. The best is hanging out with Susan. We give each, we like, we're roll, like, we're, our hang is going good. We're writing a song and then we give a reference and the other person has no idea who we're talking about. <laughs> like one time I got a, you were like the Mary Tyler Moore show and I'm like, <laughs> No, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't. I'm like, it's kind of like friends, but with one person and then a bunch of other people. And then I, I'm trying to think of who I reference, just some weird shit nobody knows. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to play another song. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can anybody name the song? Actually, you can't name this song because this is a different version. It's not dust in the wind. <laughs> it's not Dan Fogelberg. 80s. We're, in, we're going to the 80s here. But we're doing it folky, but we're in the 80s.
Folky Cindy Lopper. <laughs> She's not that unusual. No. no, she is. So um, this next song is actually um, it, it is also another another new one, um, and um, yeah. So like, who who broke your heart the first time, Paul? Who was it? Who was she? I guess, is it an uh, actual girlfriend that I was with or someone? Like, for me, this song could be also about someone that you had a crush oh. about from afar. Yeah. But Casey Dunbar broke my heart. Really, it was really bad, actually. But, um, yeah. but I feel like I... Is she here? <laughs> <laughs> no. She, no, she is far away. Um, I won't get into too many details. What about you? What about you, then Marco? Um, yeah, Marco, what about you? Who was... My <laughs> They broke your heart. <laughs> yeah, what's I want a name? Beth Jones. Beth Jones. Beth. Jones. Beth. Beth, you suck. <laughs> Mine was named Adam, and of course, the first man on earth. Um, Let you down. And he ended up working for BP. And I, when the oil spill happened in the Gulf, I was like, yes, karma. No, that was a terrible thing that I thought. I wish him well, and I hope he's overweight and, and not very attractive. That's, but not like I'm holding any grudges or anything. Like getting phased out of his career. <laughs> so everyone needs to think about their, their own, right? I remember you were the only one to hang out with me when everybody was gone. You weren't afraid, 11th grade. Everybody followed the pretty ones, but nobody saw how the killing was done. That wasn't you. You were immune. It was just the two of us, something like in God we trust. And I thought I knew the truth, but I couldn't feel Till I caught you loving that fool How did you know what to do? It should have been me kissing you And you kissing me Was I confused, or was it you? I snuck out Sunday night to check your bedroom light. I climbed our tree to find your heart was taken when I caught you loving that fool. How did you know what to do? It should have been me. Kissing me First crush to first love The first time it hurts some But the heart does what it does Once upon a time you were the only one I watched you from the corner of the gym at the prom It's true You never knew Now I'm looking back, I don't mind what I see 
You opened up my heart so I could finally breathe and I could be me. It was just the two of us, something like in God we trust. I don't regret a thing, cause I learned it all when I caught you loving that fool. How did you know what to do? It should have been me kissing you. It could have been me kissing you. It should have been me kissing you. And you kissing me. It's a little hot up here. It's hot. It's hot. I'm, re I'm regretting the jammies. Maybe oh, next time it'll be like bathing suits. Shorts. We'll cut them off. We'll have our. <laughs> we need the like the NBA like the pull off. <laughs> Six foot. Five. <laughs> well, and that's so funny. So when I everything about this band has been really fun and easy and a little bit crazy and awesome that way and. Um, you know, even down to our name, we didn't have a name. Uh, we had a gig, and we didn't have a name. And, uh, and, and Paul uh, had this wonderful mechanic from, we're both from Medford. We live in Medford now. Go Medford. Pat. Pat, Pat. the mechanic. Was amazing, because he got, of course, he got pushed out of his spot. He had this great spot. He's this honest mechanic. And, of course, when he leaves, I'm hanging out with some more old school people, Medford, and they were like, Pat was great, he was nice to the old school and the new school people, you know, me being a newbie to Medford. It's like, gah, we had like the best mechanic ever. Anyway, he's still working independently out of his garage, and we've talked about this. We're gonna do, we're gonna collect people's honest mechanics. So like, Pat Walsh, I can literally give you his number in the Medford area. Alan we're, we're Sons gonna, gonna in West Medford. Yes, we're gonna put together these honest mechanics and put them on our website, because they're amazing. And the best thing is, is that I have to reveal to Pat that he is loosely the name that at least when I thought of Honest Mechanic, but I got to know him, and he's like in, into shredding. He's going to fucking hate this band. Right, exactly. But that's okay. <laughs> he's right. He's so going to not like this. But that's okay. That's going to be part of it. We're going to just find a way to do a cover they want to hear in a really mellow, subtle way that they're not going to like, but it's still going to be some kind of a powerful a relationship. Pantera, a Pantera, a pop folk Pantera yes. cover. Yes. <laughs> But so Honest Mechanic, that was our name. And then, of course, we did a Google search, and the, the Honest Mechanic with a C was taken. So that's when the K came in. And um, that was also a little bit random. Um, and uh, uh, I, I guess, hold on. I'm going to talk about the fact that uh, you know, our writing process evolved. So it, it, this, you know, Paul would come over to my house. We'd write a song. And then, like, suddenly, we had like 10 songs. And, and I was like, are we a band? I think we're a band. <laughs> My gosh. So it felt really good, too, because I don't, she collaborates a lot, but I'm like a one weird, still one cook in the kitchen person. And it's like, oh, this isn't such a scary thing to like write a song with. But it is, though. But you're so good. Well, no, you're good. You're Maybe. just chill. And it's, <laughs> but we're like playing with song DNA. You don't do that with other people, but I guess you do, apparently. Yeah. I don't, know, I don't know why I told that whole story right now, but that's okay. Because I was like, I looked down at the set list, I'm like, oh, and the lead-in is absolutely nothing related to the song that's coming up right now. But it was good. <laughs> this is what we wish for all of you.
a God, or there is no God. It don't really matter when it's just, just the two of us. That goes out to all the mechanics. <laughs> all right, we have to give a couple of shout outs here. We do have to give a couple of shout outs. I can't set that up. You go, Paul. Who are we shouting out to? I want to shout out Angel Wood right over here Woo! for playing us on Boston Emissions. And you want to talk, tell her about the new. Yeah, so Angel is amazing and super talented and a great DJ and has some wonderful bulldogs and also happens to have one of my favorite podcasts, which is called Crime of the Truest Kind. And it's it's kind of like local crime that's happened in, in Massachusetts, I think New England also, but it's really good, so check it out. Find it, follow it. She's right over here, talk to her. Also, I want to shout out to Michael Murata, a publicist, Michael for thanking us. We, s we started this band these days, like in the digital world, we were like sub zero starting, you know, if you're starting from scratch and like he just helped us in so many ways. So thank you. Thank you so yes. much. Publicist, thank you, thank check you. it out, like it, follow it. Then we also want to thank Perry Persoff, who is here, who -U -U is a DJ at WUMB. Where are you, Perry? There you are. Thank you so much. He played us this past Sunday. And last but not least, behind every tall man and tall woman is an equally awesome tall woman and tall man. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Beth Hansen. Thank you, Beth, for I want to lending also. your she? husband to me. And I want to say thank you to Dino Catanio, my husband. Because... Honestly, it was Dino who was listening to us right in the living room and kept coming in and being like, you guys, I think this is a band. I think you're a band. So it really wouldn't have been possible without Dino and Very his true. Help. He did push it. He did. He did. Yeah. So there we go. Right. <laughs> this is our British portion of the evening. <laughs> right. In it. What? Sorry, just doing some acting. Oh, no. Lovely. Right, you gotta have something British these days, right? Making love to you was never second best. I saw the world all thrashing round your face. Never really knowing it was always 
flesh and lace I'd stop the world and melt with you You've seen the difference And it's getting better all the time There's nothing you and I won't do Let's stop the world and melt with you Marco Javino on the drums right there. Holy. Yay! <laughs> Woo, that was fun. <laughs> so we have another song that we, we, that we just wrote. <laughs> and uh, I don't know what to say about this. In my mind, this is our Violent Femmes song. There you go. Which, of course, it's not. In your, what is it in your mind? The Mary Tyler Moore? No. <laughs> See? Here we go. <laughs> no. Sex Pistols. Thank you. God save the queen. Nice. Shit, no pressure. I should be jumping, but I'm not going to jump because I will fall off the stage. So. <laughs> were dim, the scene was loud, we tried to let in your wavelength, but all that baggage bummed us out. We don't like it, we don't know why, just leave us alone. Don't kill the vibe. 
Contemplate life's hard enough to take. Quick, let's all live before we die. We don't like it. song one more song and then we're going to pretend like we're gonna leave the stage and you all are gonna like go crazy like insane crazy and we're gonna be humbly like oh, wait up for us really thank you so much and then we're gonna come back for an encore so we need to practice this because I need to hear volume I need to believe it all right, so we've just finished the next song that we're gonna do, and what happens right after that? Show me. I think that'll do it. Good job, guys. All right, so remember one. Oh, this is another brand, brand new song. Oh my God. again because I totally sang some old lyrics. Oh, right. Let's do it again because it was so good, right? Ah. <laughs> One more time with feeling. Here it comes around the corner, the thing that makes you wonder. What happens when you die? Pearly gates of floating stardust Or judgment heaven help us Or just turning off the light The only thing that we can be sure of Is we can't be sure of anything The only thing that we can be sure of we can't be sure of anything At least we're sure of that Behind the veil We feel the questions The fun is in the guessing You can always take it back Story's ending. We're really just pretending, and I can live with that. The only thing that we can be sure of is we can't be sure of anything. The only thing that we can be sure of is we can't be sure of anything.
expecting the stairway to be cold. The only thing that we can be sure of is we can't be sure of anything. The only thing that we can be sure of is we can't be sure of anything. Gosh, what a surprise. Thank you. <laughs> so, speaking of thank yous, thank you to the amazing, amazing staff at the Fallout Shelter. Thank you so much. Beth, Hur I was going to say Beth Hurley, Mary, Be <laughs> Mary Beth Arena. Bill Hurley, Eric Connor. Who else am I missing back there? What? Rick, I'm so sorry. Rick, thank you so much. Thank you guys. And Joanne. Joanne, there you are. And Nat, where are you, Nat? Nat, thank you so much. Steve Kate. Where is he? I'm sorry, I couldn't see you guys, but thank you so much. And for all of you who don't know the Fallout Shelter, it's this your first time, go out and spread the word, because this is like my favorite place in the whole wide world to play. That was all the thank yous, but, but thank you again. Seriously, this place is unique. It's really special. Thank you for everyone for being so insanely cool. I'm not used to this. I don't believe, I don't trust you. I'm just kidding. I do, I do. And that's a perfect segue to a song about what it's like to be in the music industry. Faces. 
trapped in glowing foam. Check me out, I'm the one you need to know. My art's important, just nobody knows. I don't fit into any scene. Nobody calls me back to smoke the weed. Everybody thinks of Everybody thinks of themselves as an outsider. Everybody thinks of themselves as an outsider. Everybody, 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 everybody is an outsider. Everybody, everybody, everybody is an outsider. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We are Honest Mechanic. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Susan, we're getting a real encore. <laughs> have an encore. <laughs> but just standing up was wonderful. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stick around, we're going to do an interview in a couple of minutes, bring them back on, and we'll have a little chat, so hang out, grab a drink, and we'll be right back.
check, check, check one. Here we go. Where's Mark? You got a couple too, maybe. Oh, okay. Check, check one. Check your mics. Check one, two. Check three, four. Paul, where are you? Hello. Paul. Paul Hansen. Paul Hansen. All right, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was very funny. I don't know who did that, but that was hilarious. M m by the way, Marco's like, yeah, that's not original. I've heard that. He's like, really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right, come on, Marco. Let's get into this. Climb over, my yes. friend. Climb over, my friend. No, I want you in the mid. Like, I'm in the middle. Rose among the thorns. Hey. <laughs> well, it sort of is, man. Yeah, that was not your Mary Tyler Moore song. That was definitely your Pleasant Valley Sunday song. <laughs> there oh, nice. you go, right? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. See, I don't know them. I, d I don't know Pleasant Valley Sundays. You don't know Pleasant Valley Sunday? I don't. The monkeys? I will, uh, oh, okay, okay. Wow. I think if I heard it, if I heard the song, I would know yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, there's so much of this tonight that sort of reminded me of that that pop era and the, you know, it's really cool stuff. I mean, I just love this new stuff. So, um, thank you. Um, let's want to try and um, at, at at some point towards the end of the year, the beginning of next year, I'm going to put together a little documentary of how people survived this. And people made a lot of big changes. And you were among those people that made real life changes during this. You wanna? So, um, yeah. So I have been teaching songwriting at the Berklee College of Music for 20 years. And I made the decision to quit my job. <laughs> because, I don't know, it was, a, it was kind of a, after everything shut down, it was it was so hard, you know, to have your life and your lifestyle go from one thing to another, literally over the weekend. Um, and it really made me evaluate, like, what do I want to do with my life going forward? And, you know, I've always had one foot in the academic world and one foot in the music world. And I really want to see what happens when I put both feet in the music world. So, um, yeah, so that was really scary. <laughs> But I I haven't had any regrets. I did have a dream the night before last where I was here we go where I was helping a bunch of people. I'm not gonna tell that part. Tell the whole no, thing, no, Susan. No, no, no. Helping a bunch of people, and I thought to myself in the dream, oh, I'm so glad I didn't quit Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs> and then I woke up and I was like, huh, I did quit Berkeley. Okay, okay, but it's good. Was there a moment for any of you where you thought you weren't going to do this anymore? I mean, actually, it's crazy that you asked that because I was just thinking, Susan, the other day, and Dino, like, I mean, I, I played a whole, I played a ton with my band, The Grown Up Noise. We toured a lot. I miss that. It's still going since I'm the principal songwriter, blah, blah, blah. But after... After the quarantine, you know, I was teaching online and just getting and living in my jammies, and and I, I was part of a big part of me was not missing all the stuff that goes into playing live. I, I really and I was worried that I was like, oh, I'll just write songs for myself and teach and do that. But I gotta thank you guys and Honest Mechanic and Bill because like seriously, these last few shows, I'm like something I'm awoke again and I'm like, oh yeah, I do miss this. I remember that guy. I, I remember that guy because it was fading away. Like, and I would see pictures of old shows being like, oh, yeah, that looks fun. And n now I feel it. Now I feel connected to that person. So I think, yes, I want to play again now. But I questioned it hard. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. Marco? <laughs> was, was there a moment like that for you where you thought, maybe I'm not doing this anymore? No, 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 never. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> well... <laughs> 
Well, he has real gigs, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like, not, I mean, this place is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But Marco, I mean, every, a few people don't know Marco. I mean, holy shit. <clears throat> oh, my God. The resume took, is, yeah. you know, the resume is three set lists yeah. long. So, yeah. So he's not going to stop. But, but, but it was difficult. I mean. Um, no. <laughs> no, I just had my girls a lot. I have two young daughters. So it was just um, squeezing in time. I'm taking care of my kids. And practicing until gigs started again. Yeah. When did yeah. that start again for you? Did w was it earlier than? Um, no, I, I don't think so. Um, I have a little studio at my house, and I know people wanted to play and still make music, so I would just record like solo drum tracks. You know, eventually when I could have somebody else over the house right. to engineer and help me out. So I don't really know when that was. Uh, maybe not. So like let me August of 2020 around yeah. there maybe yeah. or September something like that. Um, and this band was actually this actually came together pre-COVID, and so as things are getting started, all of a sudden now the floor is gone and you know. Well, and we literally recorded our first session on March 8th. And then didn't, and then it was like, oh, uh, okay. And we were singing like face to face. Yeah. Or I mean, maybe there was a glass, but we were still like. Yeah. And then it was like, oh yeah, that's, that's done. Yeah, and then and then then we came in separate times, and you know we made sure that there hadn't been anybody in the studio for like four days, so that the the air droplets were not you know old or you know yeah it was really hard I have a bunch of videos of us with our masks yeah. <laughs> doing mixing like looking at t listening to takes and being yeah. like how is that subtle part <laughs> yeah <laughs> try that weather note yeah yeah it's yeah we d um, our last show was March thirteenth I think the state shut down on the fifteenth um, and we did a few. You know, we had a couple bands that just came in to do live streaming, and and then we did this really outrageously crazy thing where we um, we did a blues festival, a, th a three day long blues festival, thirty seven bands, and we live streamed twelve hours a day for three straight days, <gasps> and and we had vendors that sent in videos. Um, so that you could have the experience of actually going into somebody's tent and buying things. And, um, and we had food places from different parts of the country where the bands were from. We had, I mean, we had bands that w we had recorded and filmed here from all over the country. So if it was Joanna Connor's set, you know, we had food people from Chicago that oh, so cool. <laughs> that we had that would come and deliver food to your house. You know, in Chicago and stuff. Wow. And um, but we the live streams we did in here. I mean, we were all masked and shields, and yeah. you know, the bands didn't wear masks. You know, kind of can't really wear a mask and play in a band. But yeah, it was um, it was it was crazy, and and there there were definitely times where I thought we weren't coming back from it. You know, there were there were many times where I thought, well, what are we gonna do? I mean, you know, what what's gonna happen? You know, is, is it did ever? Did you ever second guess yourself wanting to do this? Because I feel like you do so much. No, no, nice. no. I never second guessed wanting to do this, but you know, it was funny too because we. You know, Jamie, we had Swingin' Steaks booked for April, this big DVD release party that we had made the DVD here. It was a retrospective. We did a 25-year retrospective. We'd filmed it over two nights. And then we put it together as a DVD, and the, the release was going to be in April, and then that got canceled, and then we thought, well, this is going to be over by July. Oh, my God. So, too, so right? we just booked them again <laughs> in July, and then it was like, Oh yeah, which July are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, take me through the process of the songwriting since both of you are, are, are you both collaborating now? You're not collaborating for the first time, but you're not, I mean, I've, you've, you've written with some of the Berkeley uh, faculty, 
right? Uh, no, I actually have kept church and state separate. So, really? Yeah, I, I've written with my best friend, who happens to be a faculty member, but all the co-writes I've done... Scarlet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ...have been, like, outside. I've, I've known people kind of outside. So this process of, of the two of you now, is it... I mean, obviously, the material is great. The songs are coming out great. And you've been on this stage probably seven or eight times. And this is as animated and as alive as I've seen you on this stage. Nice. Nice. Yay. Thank you. Well, I think it's just I, I well I <laughs> I have to say like part of it is this this joy that I thought I was never going to be able to have again. So I I really it's like when I perform I get a little stage nervousness beforehand and then when I step up to the mic I feel like there's this moment where I'm like I love everyone <laughs> like I I literally am like I love you and I love you and I love you and I so. That, when that went away, <laughs> I didn't realize how much I missed it. And then, so, you know, part of this is me coming back to life. Like, I just feel like, oh my God, so, it's so wonderful. And then the second thing is that this project has just been so easy, easy, fun, fun, yeah. which is what music should be about. And it's entertainment. I love them, and I love working <laughs> with them, and I love what they bring to the whole thing. So that also, I think, communicates itself, because I just feel really comfortable. And you're having fun, because am I the weirdest person you've written a song with? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. damn. Are you kidding? No. Shoot. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. <laughs> Definitely written with weirdos, <laughs> so it's. Like <laughs> I mean, good weird, but okay, yeah. <laughs> Even bad weird. <laughs> so what what is the process? How does it work? Well, so usually I'll bring. I have what I what we call like a song seed. So I have kind of like a progression and maybe part of a melody, and then and then I bring it to Susan and just play it for her and just kind of vamp on it, and then we both think about it, what it what it's about. Because I I think I've already I've, I feel like I've said this before, but left to my own devices, I'll just kind of come up with, with words that feel good coming out of my mouth and they mean something to me emotionally, but they don't have any narrative. And so Susan is so great at being like, okay, Paul, hold on, hold on, stop. <laughs> what is, what is it, what are you saying? What are we saying? <laughs> right. It's great. It's like, it's like if without Susan, I just float into like outer space. And so she just grabs my foot and at least as we get, <laughs> and then as we get started, it, it forms into this, uh, it keeps whatever I bring to it, but then it, it forms into this this new element right. that's awesome. Right. But then also on one of the new songs, you brought the chord progression. Yeah. Because, you know, we both do melody and lyrics, but a lot, a lot of times I have all these chord progressions, but you brought. And so, I was so, so it's already scared. changing. I was so like, oh, God, because it felt like it felt like. I don't know, doing something all wrong. Like, I was like, that's not how we write. We write because Paul comes in with something and then I take it and then da, da. And this is something I thought of. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to pitch this idea to Paul. And it turned out great. I think so. it's my favorite song right now. Nice. nice. Are, you, are you able to leave the instructor, faculty? Yeah, same church and state thing. Uh, same okay. exact thing. Like, I, it's funny. Somebody else asked me that and I never think about the the mechanics or the the kind of education or the academics whatever behind songwriting when I'm co-writing or when I'm songwriting it never occurs to me and and somebody's like well are you know are you ever correcting I'm like no I don't know why it's like it's like my brain is in a different room or something I, I gotta tell you too um, the, uh, the, while this set list was great and I loved the covers that song Marco wrote was Killer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, what do you mean you didn't write it? No, no. He no. He had the he he sent the drum beat, and then I came up with a progression, and then Susan and I worked on it. But it's not like but Marco. The, it was the kind of thing where it's like I was listening to it for like thirty minutes straight with headphones. I there, there was I not I wouldn't have come up with that chord progression without that. Without that song drum. would not have existed. Like you seriously. But he also writes lyrics and does melody, so we'll have to. Yes, I want to hear that dive too. Into yeah, that. yeah, for sure. Yeah. 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 Let's hear more of that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, moving forward now, I mean, this is 
this is the band, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it's so funny because, you know, we're we we are very very or I think I speak for you when we're we're not going to change the lineup of this because we really like the fact that it's a different thing than what you normally see. So, and do you know who said that? Dino said that. Who wants desperately to play bass in the <laughs> band? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think um, uh, 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 the, you you really should think about this because I think it's obvious that you know at the merch table there should be lounge bags. There are. There are. I have. I have. I have already a design. They are um, kind of this color. Um, and they say in yellow, honest mechanic. And the only problem is that I just haven't figured out how to order how many I should get. But yes, the pajamas will be part of our merch. I'm hoping. Genius. They made it into the poster. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> you know, the pajamas did make it to the poster. Um, um, any plans about taking this outside the city or? would be amazing I think yeah I, yeah I mean I think you know we're, we're just we're gonna see what happens it we're, we're such a baby band like we literally didn't have didn't have a web page until like you know six months ago so we, we just got brand new pictures pictures that Justin took when we did the video shoot those are the pictures yeah. that we're using for press you know it's like we're yeah so um, we're at the beginning of, of this, and we're going to see what happens. I think the timing is is right for this. You know, I really do. I think the timing is right for this kind of a thing. Um, there's, I don't know that there's much like it out there right now. There's been phases where, you know, this it, 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 Dino and I talked about everything but the girl. I, that I, I worked with that band for years and years with Atlantic, and... It, it does kind of take me back to that sort of, you know, it's real melodic. It's the, the, the songs are really, really well done. Um, and I think the timing's good for this, you know? It feels really good to hear. Yeah, yeah. When somebody reviewed us and they're, they're like, I, I just don't, can't think of another band that sounds like them right no, now, no. which I think is really cool. That's, a, that's yeah, an awesome. Yeah, I mean, well, that's what you kind of want, you know? You don't want to be kind of you know the the trying to duplicate the flavor of the day you know um but yeah i think it's i think timing's perfect for this um and i hope that uh you know when you when you do get out there that you come back in here <laughs> you know We'll, we'll be, yeah, thank you. Yes, yes. <laughs> we would love that. Oh, that we would go out into the world that we'd be like, hmm, should we do the fallout I shelter? I guess we'll come back I wonder. to the fallout mm. shelter. But I just, I do want to say one thing that, so we had recorded all of the songs with just Paul's guitar and our vocals. And I was like, okay, is this, is this who we are? Like, are we like kind of the Civil Wars, but, but a little more indie rock? And then... This guy came into the picture, and I have to say that that Marco's drumming on the the album just lent a, an energy and a force that then Paul responded to by writing all these synth parts to go with what Marco had created. So it yep. really was. I yeah, just, we, synth we wouldn't be like synth. Yeah. Synth bass. Because I was like thinking to myself tonight, and I, 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 I really hesitate to say anything to artists when I get ideas in my head about what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, but I'm thinking to myself, Renee would be just, you know, I mean, she, yeah. she could have a little part on this stage and, and you know, add those, those parts, yeah. you know? Um, well, I think at this stage where I, I might... I might be adding those parts. I'm oh, good. nice. I'm, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> See. Nice. We'll get the Hammond out for you when you come ah! down. <laughs> I have to say one thing back to the Marco drum thing. Because, yes, we were very close to being like, okay, this is the sound, just our voices. And I didn't know who Marco was. I mean, I knew he was an amazing studio drummer from what Susan said. And coming from the DIY slapstick indie world, I was very skeptical because I'm used to working on parts in a room in a sweaty, shitty basement 
and working it out, like just handing over your baby to someone. So I, so I was, I was just nervous because I'd never worked like that. And then when I heard, I think it was Outsider, I was listening on headphones and I literally cried. Well, and I yes, was like, this yes, is fucking and, but amazing. But let's tell the story I will, of what I will. actually happened. And so I was, feel, I was literally crying in my basement with my headphones on. Just, it, it, just, it, it just sounded, the texture and everything of it was so perfect. And then Susan was worried what I might think. And, and, and so since I loved it so much, I was like, okay, I'm going to play a joke on Susan. And I texted her. I was like, I, I was like Susan, I, I listened to it several times through, and I, I got to say, like, I'm just not like, feeling the drums. And then I left. I only wanted to do this joke. I know we didn't know each other that well. I, I wanted to do this joke only because I loved him so much. And like, so then I just saw the flurry of her writing, and I was like, no, 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 no. I fucking love it. And she was like, you little shit. Like, <laughs> But I, but now I feel like we know each other. About I, I can, yeah. I can joke, you I can could, joke a little joke more. You can joke with me now. <laughs> yeah, but that was like cathartic, yeah. Marco. Your, your drum parts. They yeah. really were. Yeah. Yes, and tonight, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's and and that, uh, you know, that that you came in with that idea that I'm going to be on the floor. I'm going to be next. To th- I, I, I thought it was a great idea, and it came off great. So, good thinking. Thank you so much thank for you. being here. Thank you. And, you know, always thank you for being you, you know. I adore you, and um, you always have a home here. You know that. Thank you. We love you. I love you. Thank you so much, Bill. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Let's hear it. Thank you. All right, so Susan, we'll give you the honor. You can just look back there to Connor and say, Connor, roll Con- the credits. Connor! Roll credits! Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs>